welcome back to Studio Chatter. The choice of the wedding bands can be a pretty tricky decision. Here to help us out with that is Sean and Rochelle Mickelson from Forge Jewelry. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks, Thanks for, for having coming us. from Provo. Yeah, oh my Thanks goodness. for having us. Thank I think this is my lovely. favorite part. I love the, I love the bling. Yeah. Yes. You do. You do. We're excited. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I just, I'm really excited. What, you know, people go in for uh, a ring and they want to, especially the women, what's what do they do to make it unique you know their own thing how do yeah. they customize it yeah so custom has become a real popular trend mm -hmm. because everyone wants something that is unique no mm -hmm. one else has it yeah. uh, so they're able to um, come in and as at our store specifically we do a CAD design software oh, wow. where they can do anything their heart, little hearts desire wow. so often they'll take pictures from Pinterest mm -hmm. um, and take little different parts and pieces of different rings that they really like make it their own sometimes they'll even introduce a symbol that's specific to them mm -hmm. and their love story mm -hmm. which we love when right. they do that it's yeah. really fun oh, that's fantastic. so this both of my kids went to forge for their mm. both rings for both couples mm -hmm. and that was my favorite thing is watching them customize mm -hmm. one was a lot more custom and what my son um, came for his ring and it was mm, more similar to others, but then he put their birthstones underneath so she oh. can see the birthstone, oh, uh, wow. his and hers, and then he can add more birthstones of their kids kind of under the setting. So oh, I love neat. how oh, custom yeah. you guys. Yeah, we love that one. And, and I would remember your son's ring because from the top, it just looks like a regular ring. Yeah. But as they look at the side, it's kind of their personal yeah. thing, which is really fun. That's cool. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys are great. Even That's your good. ring. So what, what kind? Is it gold? Is it titanium? What is it? I'm actually wearing my um, kind of geeky wedding ring <laughs> today. It's, it's, it's actually a tungsten carbide, and it has a little um, Star Wars symbol on the oh. side. Oh. So, yeah, so there we go. The Okay, yes. yes. I have a 19 year old yes. son, and I already know he okay. wants that there wedding ring. Okay. <laughs> so, what metal is yes. is the most popular right now? For um, ladies' rings, um, we we actually just did a little poll, and it's 50% white gold okay. right now. It's 32% okay. rose, Ooh. Mm -hmm. and then it's 17%. Uh, yellow, yellow gold, gold. Mm -hmm. and then there's only one percent of platinum okay. that we're mm -hmm. selling right now. So definitely white, okay. but we're seeing rose gold really cool. um, rise in the popularity. Very trendy. Yeah, and don't is. you think we're seeing a lot of combining metal? Yeah, a lot of two tones. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And then what? Uh, what about the the stone? What What about the shape? Is it still pretty? You know, round is very you know traditional. It is. Yeah, is round is still our most popular, okay. but um, I would say we do a lot of oval okay. shape right now. We do mm -hmm. pear shape. Mm -hmm. um, cushion. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are our most popular ones. And then we see a lot of just different things. Okay. So it's it's fun to see that. But round is, seems to always be the most popular. What From a jeweler's point of view, what is there any particular way that you like to point? You know, I, I mean, just for cut and clarity and yeah. showing off the stone. Yeah, we really try to do what they prefer. Okay. But um, if they are kind of open to it, I, I'm still a fan of round. That's okay. what Rochelle has on her ring is, oh. is well, a look round. look at brilliant. it. My so. goodness. <laughs> yes, yes. It reminds me of Princess Diana. Remember Aww. when she had the blue? She's got oh, sapphires, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> what are the top tips you would give people as they're out shopping for their wedding rings? You know, we're the first stop usually yes, in this whole, are. Yeah. whole thing. And so many times the girls have already done most of their shopping on Pinterest. So we like them to find their style. But one of the things we really recommend is that they have found these styles they like on the screen, but come in and try it on mm. or something similar, you know, if they don't have exactly what they want, because that way they can see if it fits on their finger and those kind of things. Um, they need to come with a budget in mind. Yes. Um, they need to find a good, good jeweler there's a lot of different people in the industry it's a huge industry and you mm -hmm. can find all different types of okay. quality it's all over the board so you want to make sure you find someone who's good and so right. a couple of the top things well on that Beautiful. note how how do they find you what's the best way to find you so our phone number is 801-704-7020 okay and then we're online at forgejewelryworks.com and, and I instruct everyone to follow them on Instagram. You guys 
post daily and it's always fun to see your guys's post whether it's for a wedding or mother's day coming up a birthday oh, christmas, christmas holidays we do a lot of redesigns fantastic. too for oh, people watches. you know that we yeah. do so and okay. we we brought you guys some gifts oh, um, you know that thank uh, you. Uh, we didn't even like, notice so, <laughs> <open there. laughs> so feel free to open those up if you like you were going to say something yeah while you're opening them i just thought i'd say if you know where pizza pie cafe oh, is oh, in provo we're so right nice. there yeah. So it's a really easy oh, location. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are gorgeous. gorgeous. So these are great for spring. They're oh. very trendy. Stacking bracelets yeah. is a big wow. thing. So stack them up. Oh, it's great. kind of fun. Yeah. And thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> we'll, we'll be yeah. sure to stop by and Thanks visit. For Thanks yeah. for having us. Well, next up in our bridal fair, finding a photographer that's a good fit for you. Everything in a wedding clamors for our attention, but one service that creates the memories that last a lifetime is the photography. Welcome Emily Bourne with Natural Bourne Photography. Welcome to the oh, show. Thank you. I love the name of your business. Oh, yes. It's so kind much. of a play on words. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been doing weddings? Uh, I've had my business and I've been doing weddings for almost six years. Oh, wow. I mm -hmm. yeah. love it. I do, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah story. It's, it's like a fairy tale, isn't it? You yeah. Know, you see them from before they actually, you know, can come together and then yeah. after as well. Yeah, you this is them. probably the most important part of the I wedding. I agree. Yeah. I agree as well. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Sometimes I hate to say it. I don't want to like because Diminish you know, they're, else yeah, is, yeah, yeah, all the vendors are great. Well, but. I mean, all of those things are very important, but these are literally, you're creating the memories that last a lifetime. So when you're picking the photographer, you, you have to pick ever so carefully because you don't want that one element right. to go wrong. Yeah. So as the photographer, you want to be comfortable with the people that you're taking the pictures of and vice versa, right? Absolutely. So, yes. What, so as far as advice, um, what can you help us with by way of maybe budgets? What should they budget for? So uh, there's, there's a photographer for every budget out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but you do have to keep in mind that you get what you pay for sometimes. So okay, obviously with this, I think. the higher mm -hmm. budget, mm -hmm. the higher quality photos, the higher quality products. I brought some, I brought some products. Um, but again, like it all, it, it just depends on what you want, you know? Mm -hmm. um, How do you pick a photographer? Yeah, I, I mean, there's so <laughs> many. <laughs> right? How do I say, oh, yeah, she's amazing. I mean, just from looking at you or how? Yeah, you know, you um, so first of all, it's important that they have a legitimate business, right? Mm -hmm. Like oftentimes your friend with a nice camera mm -hmm. or a family member <laughs> yeah. will offer to shoot your wedding, right? Uh -huh. yeah. But there are a lot of perks that come with hiring a, a professional. Mm -hmm. um, there's legalities, insurance, um, that contract that guarantees okay. that they are there that day sure. shooting That's all day long <laughs> and that they will deliver the images in a timely manner, right? right. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, they have backup cameras in case something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes I'll bring a second shooter with me mm -hmm. um, to capture moments that I can't, that oh, I can't get by myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So it's the yeah. best idea to, like, to get online, go to a couple different websites and then narrow it down from, to your style. Hmm. Yeah, so it's important that you pick someone that has a style that you like, right. their editing, the way they shoot. Okay. Um, before before you meet with them, I, I think it's important that you ask for uh, to see a full wedding gallery, right? Okay. Like a full mm. wedding day that they've shot. Oftentimes, photographers will just post the best of the best, right? Mm -hmm. But you want to see, oh. you know, from the start of the day to the end, okay. and make sure that everything mm -hmm. looks good, that they have okay. they have the skills to cover, and that they can shoot maybe in that dark venue or in right. really bright sunshine. You know, mm -hmm. these are tricky lighting okay. situations. So mm -hmm. if you see a full day you know that they have that skill set. Okay. And, and it's obviously so important to meet the photographer because you really form a relationship with them. You're with them for the pre-shoot, like for your wedding gown or your first look, clear to the, through the wedding day. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not comfortable with your 
photographer, it shows in the images. Like, mm. your okay. smiles aren't natural, people are more awkward, more stiff. But yeah. if it's somebody that you're comfortable with, that you get along with well, it makes the day go okay. a lot smoother. Yeah. So do you, sorry, just really quick. Do you have, like, another option for people who don't have a lot of money? Maybe they have their budget's a lot smaller. Do you yeah, have absolutely. other alternatives? So um, they can shorten the time that they hire the photographer mm -hmm. for, that mm -hmm. will cut down on the budget. Um, Product-wise, I do smaller albums oh, that's good uh, okay. for a lower price yeah. or, you know. Or no album? What if someone didn't want an album? Or is with you, Just is it you get an album? Yeah. So I, I am very, I'm a big believer in delivering to the full extent. Kay. I feel mm -hmm. like just delivering digital images uh -huh. isn't finishing the job. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. I've, I've come up short. So I always deliver something, whether it's um, some canvases for their wall mm -hmm. or okay. an album, a large album, a small album, okay. or That's some kind idea. of a display box. Mm -hmm. Let's look at your display box. Yeah. 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 That's a great idea. So this is, this is a big one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an 11 by 14. So you do these in different sizes as well? Yeah, so there's a, you can okay. get this in 8 by 10, and mm -hmm. this is the larger album but it's it's made in Italy handmade wow. uh, this is Italian leather and mm -hmm. it's it's sealed if you if you lift off the lid you can kind of oh, oh yeah. The, yeah it's airtight air, airtight yeah. yeah right so this will last mm -hmm. generations you know right. this is something you can pass okay. down um, and then all all the photographs so this is a deep mat print which mm -hmm. means you can see there's no sheen on that oh, photograph wow. at all right. and the colors are very rich um this one isn't colored but you know there's a lot of depth in the mm -hmm. in the color range and these mats are oh, very they're so beautiful they're yeah. heavy yeah they're, they really are made to last i love how trends kind of change with the time this probably wasn't available around you know when i got married mm -hmm. right yeah. but, but there's always fun new things that change i i do love this do you do um like if you've already had your wedding and you want to glamorize what we've done for example we got married <laughs> before not that we're very young <laughs> anyway if i want to transfer some of my pictures you know with the digital would you be able to do something like this yeah. with as well yeah absolutely oh, yeah. Yeah. that's cool right. these are beautiful yeah Emily, i like thank that you. Yeah, yes. thank you yeah thank you so if somebody much. wanted to book you for their wedding what's mm -hmm. the best way to get a hold of you oh, whoops, um i am on instagram i'm on facebook natural born photography mm -hmm. can't forget uh, that the website <laughs> Um, all under that name. Okay. So yeah, fantastic. Go check out her work. Yes, thank you, thank Emily. you for joining thank us you. today. Coming up next, we talk about flowers and cakes. Don't go anywhere.